Okay, so now we're going to add it. Add in new scenes here. Well, first, name the scene you have here, menu. Then we're going to add new ones. From this menu that pops up, you're going to do empty. Just going to rotate my camera a little bit. Now, I'm going to press space, add, camera. Zoom out a little bit. Do control alt zero so it sets it to camera. Press spacebar, do add, mesh, and for this one I am going to do cube because that's my first menu selection. Then space, add, lamp. And then choose lamp from that menu. Pick it up, move it wherever you need it to go. Okay. So then you're gonna add you're gonna change this one's name to cube. Gonna add a new add a new scene. This one here you're gonna do a full copy. For this one you're gonna name it cone. Okay. This here you're gonna delete the cube. Get your 3D cursor right there. Now you're gonna add mesh and do cone. Okay. So now you're gonna add yet another one, a full copy. And you're going to name this one Monkey. Delete the cone and add Mesh Monkey. And I'm just going to rotate this so he sort of faces the camera a little bit. So, there. Okay, now go back to your menu scene, which is this. Now we're going to tell it to look for what property menu is, which is also telling it where this should go. And it's also going to be looking for what key you're pressing on the keyboard. So here we're going to press key. For me, I'm going to do enter or return. And we're not going to need to add any actuators or controllers for that one. Now, you're going to have to add as many actuators as you have menu selections. So in this case, three, four. So that's four of them, four controllers, and four actuators. All of the con all of the sensors will be property sensors. Just gonna make all of them property sensors right away here. Okay. Now you're gonna have to tell every one of these to be equal and look for the property of menu. Okay, so for the first one we want menu and we want the value of 1. So this one is looking for whenever the menu property is equal to 1. The second one that we will be doing is property menu and equal to a value of 2. So we're gonna basically do that with each one only go up a number with each one that we go down. So like this one's going to be 3, the next one is going to be property menu, and then value 4. So basically now all of these is telling the cone here what position it is in based on the menu property. Um, so then now we're going to add in, now we're going to wire all of these over so now all of those are connected. These controllers right now are set at AND, and we're going to keep it like that, but there's also OR and so on and so on. But the AND controller looks for both of these actuators to be true at the same time. Up here is our keyboard with return. And actually I'm going to want to set it to tap, so if you have submenus like a help menu or an options menu or something like that, that it doesn't right away click return on the next menu. So whenever you click return and this property is one at the same time it's going to go through and do this so you're going to want to so you're going to want to wire the return key to all of these different controllers over here all of the ones that are wired into your property sensors so then wire up the first actuator and you're going to switch this one to a scene actuator. 
And right now it's at restart. I'm going to switch this to set scene. And this here is where naming your scenes is important. is so that you know right away what that scene is called that you want it to go to. Now the first one matches up with my first selection. So I'm going to want to name this one cube. So here where it says SCE, which stands for scene, type in cube or whatever the name of your scene is. And do the same thing with the others, only go down the menu, like this one here, switch from restart to set scene, and you're going to type in cone for this one. And it's going to be the same thing with this last one, set scene, and this one is monkey. Okay, so all of those are the same, but this last one is for your last menu selection, which in this case is exit. So this one here is going to be different. This one is going to be a game actuator, and right now it says start new game, and we're going to switch this to quit this game. So whenever, so basically, with the last one, the exit, whenever the property of menu is equal to 4, and you press the return key or enter key, it's going to end the game. And all of these others are just going to set it to a different scene. So now, oh, one more thing you may be wondering why whenever I start the game, it's darker. Well, it's because I have this lamp here. It's doing shading as well. So all we need to do is delete the lamp, and now whenever I start the game, the color stays the same. So now, yes, we have our looping menu and all that. So now whenever I press enter or return, it switches to the scene. Now I don't have an exit from the cube or anything, so I have to exit clear out. And for the exit button here, you see, it exits the game engine. Um, so yeah, and so you can do that for anything you want, and you can use this for your game to make, um, to make a quick and easy bitmap textured menu. So this here will work by itself and um, in the next tutorial I will be showing you how to use background music for your menu.